Hello you wonderful Linux fans and welcome to yet another Clueless Girl installs this time around. We won't really be gaming, we'll be installing, we'll be continuing with yet another distro this time and I just wanted to share my thoughts with you on this. So as you all might have already heard, I went through Ubuntu and Linux Mint recently and some of you guys in the comments well, they criticized me for actually even mentioning Arch Linux together with Ubuntu in the same sentence, which I will not really be doing this again. Thank you for you, you wonderful person who actually wrote the code. This is amazing. I fully agree on that. Ubuntu was not best of experiences and also not the best of experiences in uh, the gaming world. So what did I decide to do? I tried installing a yet another easy this show to check and actually see whether it's newbie friendly. This this show is Linux Lite and as you may or may not know, Linux Lite actually has all of the information out there on how it's the friendliest, one of the friendliest this shows for people that are new to Linux and people that haven't really had that much experience with Linux in general. What your girl do? Your girl decided, everyone, I'm gonna do this again. That's the point of the channel anyway, but I just needed to say that. Anyway, so let us continue. A lot of a lot of this. Don't don't mind me guys. Uh, my birthday was last week, so I'm still hyped from that. <laughs> I cannot really get over the fact that I'm older now. So Linux Lite. What does it all give you? How did the installation go? How did I like it? I just had the idea of installing Linux Lite because reasons, because I can. So I decided then why should I not try it right away? What I did was the usual, went to the Linux Lite official website, downloaded the ISO file, put it on a USB flash drive, booted it right into my system, changed the boot settings so that it would actually boot from the USB because I already had Linux Mint pre-installed. I did decide to keep Linux Mint on the side because I think it's worth it and I think it's not really going to trash all the rest of my system just because it decided that it won't really work and it's gonna keep me into a login loophole. If you don't know what I'm talking about you should definitely check out my Ubuntu video. <laughs> that was a pain in the arm. Oh my god that was like the worst distro I have ever tried in my life. Anyway what do I do? I booted it. It actually booted itself rather <laughs> i didn't really have to do anything i just uh threw in the usb stick uh, like a normal human, human person. person i plug in the bad boy into uh, my pc and i decide okay perfect opportunity let's actually see how it installs i boot it and voila test environment so i am sitting there getting some painful memories from way back when, when I actually installed Linux Mint. <laughs> Laughing at myself, deep inside, and trying to remind myself that I should this time maybe install the grounds. So basically, what I decided to do is install, big brain, a Linux Lite right away, and take care of the rest of it eventually so check out the environment and so on and so forth which i did because right after it boots you into the system into the, the testing space you see the big nice disk that i didn't see first time around with linux mint <laughs> which i went ahead and i clicked and i was so proud of myself for not having forgotten that because girl forgot that last time and it wasn't good and installation booted so basically the biggest impression that I have of this installation, it was of course as hands-off as Ubuntu and as Linux Mint. There was nothing in the installation itself that made it difficult to, to set it up. From the very get-go, it actually asked me to put in my uh, language and also my keyboard layout. I, I did that. Amaze. Which is the usual thing everybody does anyway. <laughs> I did that and then it actually proceeded to ask me whether or not I wanted to install it as an additional an additional distro, so whether I wanted to dual boot it or whether I actually wanted a clean install. As I mentioned before, I wanted to dual boot because I am giving distros a bigger chance and I decided that Linux site actually didn't look too bad. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Then it prompted me uh, right afterwards into uh, dragging 
basically the size or driving dragging the memory that I wanted to distribute into Linux Mint and Linux Lite. I love draggers. I don't know what's up with that. I just love just taking one thing, dragging it off to the one side and then to the other. It's so fulfilling. It's like these Instagram videos that you would see on your feed and you wouldn't be, really be able to stop looking at. That's kind of how I felt with these dragging tools. I'm sure that every distro has it, but I, I don't know. I just like how it looks like. <laughs> and from there on out, basically, I selected to partition the disk and then the uber helpful installer actually let me know. Please bear in mind that partitioning this disk will take a little longer or even up to a day and it all depends on your computer. And I appreciate that it's very much because I think that for newbies this is kind of what you need to do. You need to tell everybody okay what's happening right now, what am I working on and just bring a text to the pop-up message. Not too many distros actually have this while you're installing them and you have no idea what's really happening with the system. Even if you had a little more knowledge of the system or of the distro personally, it's still a good thing to keep in mind and to plug overall simply because people are not aware of what is installing currently. Linux Lite had that. I love that. I love the fact that it actually said with big bright letters, I am installing, I am partitioning the disk now and I'll be copying the files and I'll be making sure that you have enough space but this might take a longer while. Please make sure to stand by. And in doing so, it basically just told me I am working on it, which is everything I needed because with Ubuntu I was stuck on the screen and I didn't even know whether anything was progressing. It just kept freezing so I wasn't even sure if it was installing in the background or not. There was no way of it actually showing you that there is any installation happening in the background which is kind of agitating because any user would want to know that. If you're working with any type of system, no matter what the distro is, no matter whether you're a window, no, Windows user or an Apple OS user is what I mean, you want to know how things are progressing. So that you're actually aware of the system overall. That was one of the features that I truly, truly, truly enjoyed. Just actually seeing what's happening on the screen with small little pop-up messages, if you will. When it was actually copying and transferring the data and partitioning the disk. The next step was for me to put in my region <laughs> and put in my city. And here goes another useless map that you see during the installation. <laughs> Guys, I seriously don't know what the obsession is of these distro people or developers that are actually making all of these distros for us. What is the point of inserting a map and then having write it down under? I, I get it. Okay, uh, okay, wait. I get it. It's just for graphically situating things so they look nicer together. But it's a little silly that you can select both the map and the region down under for no particular reason whatsoever. So just in case you forgot how your country was called, you could select it on the map. If you forgot your country's name, chances are you're not gonna be able to find it on the map. Anyway, that's just a pay of peeve of mine with all of the distros I've seen so far. Don't hate on me. That's my own personal opinion. It's nice. It looks pretty, but it's not functional. Regardless, I went ahead and I filled out uh, basically my country and then it continued with the installation, which it also started telling me about how much space I have in which disk. And it let me know that it again might take a little bit of a longer while to overwrite all of the files and to partition the disks correctly. It was so hands-off. The thing that I valued the most off of this whole experience, although it may sound cheesy, yes I know, I'm, it's not the best, it's blah 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 blah, blah. You, you don't want to see adverts. Guys, there was a multimedia slide, which, cue Lion King music, which <laughs> actually had all of the information of all the different Linux Lite features. Basically, you can directly see what it actually gives you. Where is your social media tab? Where, where are your browsers? How can you connect to the internet? Uh, can you can you connect your Outlook or your other messaging uh, devices or platforms or apps on this Linux site system? And then there was a tab about gaming, guys. On top of everything, there was a gaming tab that said a bunch of things about Steam and Wine, which we already know. The point is, if you don't know Linux, if you don't know how it's working, if this is your first time trying out any distro whatsoever, 
you would want to know what functionalities it actually has. If you didn't put in the research and time to actually pre-select the distro or just went ahead and installed whatever was out there and you trusted the process and the thing that was out there was actually Linux Lite, this is the perfect way. This is the literally the absolute perfect way to communicate what the features of the distro are. Yes, they may be overlapping, they may not be exclusive or anything of the sort. The point is, it's communicating its own features and it's easy to see. If you're sitting there waiting for it to install itself, you need a read. Or you'll be away from the computer and you'll be like, hey, bye, have a nice day, let me know when you're done. You know what I mean? This is not the point. If the computer actually keeps you there, you will stay there. And it did keep me there. As a difference to everything that I've done so far, this was such a breath of fresh air. Seeing what functionalities to look for, what are my customization options, what can I install, can I game, can I do anything on this distro? There are some distros that are a little more gaming friendly, there's other distros that are not. Can I download my documents? Can I can I use a lighter version of all of the rest of the Windows versions? What is going on with that? I had everything at a glance. Even, even if I didn't know the names of the programs, I could just see and Google them on my phone. And I could have just made out all of the details and just went ahead and continued and to use actually Linux Lite. This for new users that are not really particularly interested in what the hell they're actually installing is a great feature. Maybe you forgot. Maybe you had no idea what to do with it. Here it is, right in front of your eyes. You can see. Other than that, it was a super easy installation, really hands off. I just sat there and I looked at things. There was no endless loading or something breaking or thinking. It was really, really fast. It installed itself basically. And it let me know at every single step of the way what it was exactly doing and why I should be waiting and what's going on. There was a little spinning and rotating disk while it was thinking and overwriting some files so I knew that it was actually in progress. This, if you've seen my other Ubuntu video, which if you haven't yet, you have to go and watch it. Like, If you've seen this video, you would know uh, that I actually had some trouble with Ubuntu trying to boot itself or rather with Ubuntu thinking, thinking all of the time and me not knowing if it's actually installing in the background. So what did I do? I didn't do much. I had to exit Ubuntu twice or three times, meaning the installer, because it was actually not installing. It was just broke. There was nothing like this with Linux Lite and it really seems to be super light. <laughs> I mean, given uh, its name is Lite, that's what its features are supposed to be. So yeah, quite fast processing, uh, quite fast loading, quite fast installation and I honestly can't wait to just go ahead and see what it offers environment wise. And that's gonna be our next video. If you guys truly enjoyed this video, you have some feedback for me, you want to advise me for anything specifics, you can write me a comment down below and let me know about all of your thoughts. Thank you so much for all of your support recently. You've been really, really helpful and really, really amazing to talk to. Thank you guys so much for showing me all of this love you're showing me. Don't forget to do that for this video as well. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, share this video. It helps us out a tremendous lot. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in the future with the next installation of our Linux Lite video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.